Hey everyone, welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage, bringing you another video to help keep your Mustang on the road and out of the garage. So today, we're going to do a quick little video on how to remove your ignition switch and your key ignition lock cylinder. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is removing the key cylinder uh, from your ignition switch. So you need your key, and you see this tiny little hole that's right here? You're going to need a little paper clip to press on the release button on them. So you're going to take your key, you're going to turn it to the accessory option, insert a paper clip, you're going to kind of feel it. It'll let you turn it backwards one more turn and then you just kind of work it out like that. So that's your key cylinder. So the next part is um, you got to get your instrument cluster out of the way. Okay, and we already have ours out of the way. So with the cluster out of the way, you're, you're reaching behind on the switch mechanism and you can kind of feel it's kind of spring loaded as you can see as I push on it, you can kind of see the bezel kind of back off a little bit. So but what you're going to do is you're going to push in the spring and twist. And that is how that works. So you got a little spacer right here that kind of comes off. And then that's the actual ignition switch right there. You can pop the bezel out if you want to change the bezel. Um, I do have replacements of these. I'll put them in the link descriptions. I have replacements of the ignition switches. I'll put that in the link as well. Um, but then the next step is to undo the electrical connector. Okay, as a reminder, before you do anything back here, make sure you have your battery disconnected because you're going to be working with, you know, wires that are going to be um, electrically hot. So. You have a little stud and a nut on the back side of that. It's a 3 8 And now you can just remove that nut. So there's that nut. And then you have a couple wires going on the back of that. Then you have a second nut. And then the connector comes off, and that is your ignition switch. And if you need the pigtails, I have the replacement pig, pigtails, so I'll list anything associated with this in the, in the video description if you need any of that stuff. But that's how you remove it, and uh, installation is uh, the reverse order of that. Anyways, quick, hopefully helpful video. Um, to help keep your Mustang on the road and out of the garage. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next time.